Okay, hello, and just the camera. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Burnie games on any PlayStation 2. So first you'll need a memory card with free MC boot installed on it. And I might make a video on how to do that later. And you'll need your discs. <coughs> I like to use old. I say I like to use these are the only ones that I have. But hey, they work. So it's Memorex DVD minus R, and it's 16x. I, I assume that's the right speed. 4.7 gigabytes, 120 min minutes. So minus R Memorex. 16x and yeah I've already burned this game it's burnout out 3 takedown and so and also you need a computer and internet connection so first you want to download your ISO so the two websites I like to use are EMU Paradise and Coolom if Coolom doesn't have a, a you just go to here but EMU Paradise usually has all the ROM, so sometimes it just go directly here. Sometimes you have it downloaded. Um, so you'll need two things, including your ISO. You'll need Image Burn, it's called IMG Burn, and ESR Dispatcher. This is assuming that you uh, use ESR. So, uh, and I'll have the links to um, everything in the description. So basically, is open ESR Dispatcher. This little window will pop up. You click Patch, and then you just use the tabs and files file name to find your ISO. And then you click Open, and then let's see here. Uh, or you just click Open. And you find your ISO and it appears right here. And then it should say uh, whatever ISO successfully patched. And then you're good, you can just close that. And then you then you after you have your patched ISO, open up image burn, then go to write image file to disk. You click this little folder with a magnifying glass button. And then you just find your ISO and you just hit open. And then, then it will just select your disk drive. And for the write speed, I like to just put it as AWS for automatic write speed. And that always works for me. And then you, when, when it's all done, you have your disk inserted, you hit write, and then a couple minutes, you'll have your disk. Okay, so, an example, it's got burnout. Uh, turn on the TV. Ooh, it's kind of dark. Hmm. You know what? I'll just. Yeah, I have my tape, straw, and tissue mob for my PS2 swim, but it's too dark right here, so close. So I just use my fat PS2. And so, put your memory card. This is what has ESR on it. Put it in. Yeah, I'm a very ghetto way of switching between different devices. Yes. Pull out the cores and stick in the other ones. And also, I may make a video later on how to get Code Breaker for burned games without having to buy this. Yep, got my NES and my GameCube and my PlayStations. Morning. I have two PlayStations. Just because when I went over to a friend's house, they both had one, and they were really cheap. I got this one for seven dollars, 
and you got a bunch of games and a bunch of controllers and stuff. And this one was 25 but I don't really mind because it's worth about a hundred dollars in total. See, ESR should launch automatically if it doesn't just find it in the menu and you just launch it your game and then it be a black screen and then it should be multicolor screen it flashes and then the game will load and if you patch the game correctly it all goes well and all goes well it should work So, you did see a pin and burn game, and this one isn't on, and I don't have any other playstations. Yep. It is, we're not through takedown. So, that's how to get play burn games on a playstation 2. And also, since you have this memory card with Freemake Boot on it, since you have this memory card with Freemake Boot on it, all you have to do is take this memory card and your discs, turn this to a friend's house, and then, oops, and then you just have to plug in the memory card, and then you can play the disc without having to run the PlayStation. So. Thank you for watching.